shipping containers. So you know what that's called? That's called a besiege, okay? A blockade, nothing gets in, nothing gets out, okay? So there's, there's gonna be food shortages, major shortages. There's already shortages, man. There's gonna be uh, shrinkflation. There's gonna be famine. A lot of people are gonna starve, okay? That's why they're saying, get what you can get now, because this is gonna be that dark winter, Lord willing, you know? Yeah, and, and don't be surprised when you see your military take over the food supply. <clears throat> yeah. And then they got to ration it out. Well, you know? they will. They actually have executive orders on the book to come in and take your shit. Man. Yeah. Where's that? Second Edward 16. Yeah. They shall cast them out of their houses and take their goods. So, so everything you're prepping, that's going to get tough for you. Yeah. So Esau could set up an agent to push a spirit to prep and just to what? Two things, to get your money and then to come and get your goods. So he got you. So you got to watch who you're listening to. Some of these people you listen to are actually set up by Satan, man. You know, Esau's using them to put things in your mind. Yeah, Alex Jones, he makes some good points, but don't go ordering shit off his site. Right. You know, now <laughs> yeah. they got your address. Yeah, he said, uh, he said, I'll eat him. I'll eat his ass. Remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was told to say that because that's the spirit of prophecy of cannibalism coming, where they shall drink their blood of thirst and eat their flesh for hunger, man. All right? You know, that's crazy. The other day, I ain't gonna lie, I was, I was eating, I bit my finger, and I was like, damn, that would be crazy. Somebody to bite someone in the face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, you gotta have a spirit you on you. You gotta have a spirit on God, you, bro. Damn. And you know what's heavy? If you watch a movie, it's called The Revenant. Now, not with uh, Leonardo, it's another one. Okay. And in this movie, it was uh, um, like the early army from the settlers. They got uh, stuck in a cave and they end up eating each other. But the movie showed you that there was a spirit. Once you eat someone, you have to keep eating them. Wendigo. Oh, wow. See? You ever heard of that? Uh, I vaguely. It's, it's sort of. So a Wendigo is pretty much like a zombie, but it's like a Native American yep. um, deity. You know, deity that, that they speak about. Yes, I am familiar now. You said, yep. See, so that proves there's a spirit. It's but, like. But pretty much what it was, it was a guy who, who wanted to eat someone because he was starving, but then that spirit never left him. Yep. So he has to continue to keep eating flesh, human flesh. And and guess who's going to be the main, well, Jake, but guess who's going to be the main one? Esau. Yep. He's already eating raw meat. You got this guy who said he's been living off raw chicken and eggs for three years. It's an Edomite. You know, he drinks blood. You watch those videos, he'll, it's sick, bro. Well, you don't know what you eat, man. If you're eating uh, fast food, McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, you already probably eat people. Most likely. Soylent Green? Yeah, no, Impossible Burgers. Uh, you know, you don't know what you're eating, man. You, you, people are already eating people. People, yep. You know? Yep. Yep. And uh, 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 what was it? Uh, earlier last year, they came out with, uh, you can eat your favorite celebrity. They were, oh, yeah, remember yeah, that shit? Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, eat yeah. your favorite yeah. celebrity. Yeah. Oh, and then they show you that in Kingsman. She put the fucking dude's whole body in yep. the thing, and then she grounded it, and then he had to eat the burger to get uh, into the organization. Yep. That movie Kingsman, man, had a lot of jewels. Yep. But what? why is that going to come? Through famines, through the pestilences, see? And it says, uh, and earthquakes in diverse places. Right, right, right now in, in La Palma, which is off the coast of Spain, I believe, off the coast of northern East Africa, you got the island. On that island, you got La Palma, the volcano is experiencing over a hundred earthquakes a day. Okay, so if this uh if these if that keeps happening, guess what that's gonna create? A landslide. Guess what that's gonna create? A tsunami. Okay, yeah, which is gonna cause more uh, uh supply chain disruptions. This is gonna cause more destruction. Okay. Rookie, can you give me a second? I'm going to read one real quick. And it says, uh, just to finish off, Matthew 24 and 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows. So great sorrows coming. Yeah. You know, people are going to be, as the scriptures say, in a pitiful case. You're going to look pitiful, man. You know? This uh, second Edges 16 and verse 12, the earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. Right, the earthquakes, man. There's going to be major, hey, when, when, when the nukes hit, the earth is going to quake. Right. All right. And it says, the sea are rising up with waves right. from the deep. What's that? A tsunami. Okay, so the Lord's going to send, the Lord's going to send tsunamis, uh, hurricanes, tornadoes. Man, so call all y'all. Call all y'all, man. Shine. Water. So-called natural disasters to fuck yep. you people up. Water. All right. Oh, it says he will not at all quit the wicked. Yeah. Right. You ain't going to be acquitted, man. It ain't going to it, it be a mistrial. It ain't going to be, you know, we didn't find sufficient evidence. Your evidence has reached the heavens. Mm -hmm. You know, it said it's reached the clouds. You know how Jake say, oh, you got God, you got God. Yeah. You know, you got some planet, man. That's right. You know. And it says, <clears throat> and the waves of it are troubled, 
and the fishes thereof also. Right. So you got right now, you got thousands of animals beaching themselves, man, dying, choking off plastic, oil, oil spills. Yep, okay. you just had that major one. Major yeah. destruction. Right? Oh, and uh, Lebanon is out of electricity. They need new coal. You got all, you got America. Uh, uh, the, the fire's not being put out, okay? The, the, the debt ceiling has only, they might extend it to December. So come December, then what? The government shutdown extended only to December 3rd. So after that, then what? Woo! But through the spirit, you know what right. they're doing? They wait until it gets cold. Right. And then once it gets super cold, they're going to cut the lights on all these people. A lot of people going to freeze. Come on, man. Last year you had, what well, was this year? This year you had people freezing to death in Texas. What the fuck? <laughs> Texas? It's hot as hell in Texas, but you got people freezing to death. How much more were we at in Canada, Alaska? You see? Well, how many times do we see homeless people freezing to death in Rochester? Yeah. You got empty houses, but put people are homeless out here freezing to death. Right. Yeah. And it says, and before the glory of his power. That was that, that was a point. Yeah, yeah, right. That was where that <laughs> crazy. These people are crazy. Probably fucking vampires. Nah, they, <laughs> they, they, they the hills have eyes. Apparently. You know? This place needs to be cleansed, man. And that's what we're, we're, we're through the spirit prophesizing. Because, you know, it sounds bad that you die. But guess what? When you come back, it's going to be better than this. The life you live now, the bills, the budget, the, the scrambling, the biting of nails moments. You know what I mean? Like, and that's for wickedness. You know, all you got to be is, is righteous. You just got to listen in our kingdom. You just got to listen. You know, burn the right incense. You know, do what's required. Sing, sing the right song. <laughs> Damn. Know, show up to Passover when Passover. You know, reverence the king. Bring in the, uh, the uh, you know, yep. the goods, the riches. Yep. That's all you got to do. You do that now for Esau, and he still jacks you up. You know? You think some Moabite's going to bring us some beautiful frankincense from some awesome mountain, right. and then we're just going to beat him? No, nah, man. We can do more. Good job. You know? Because we're righteous men through the spirit that's what's coming on the earth righteousness you can show up every day for work on time do your job and still get fired still get fired man right 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 now we're a byword unto them but in that day the brother's speaking about they're going to be happy if we give them a salute for, right. for, for what they're going to do man yeah you know say isaiah 29 and verse 6 that shall be visited of the lord of hosts with thunder right so people always want to say well when's the lord's coming back well he's already visiting you know, Hurricane Harvey and you know, all these different hurricanes, the Lord is visiting. Oh, well, Ida means work. Yep. So the Lord like, I'm, I'm putting in work. What's the problem? Yep. I could get that Amos for you. Woe to you that desire today. You know? Yep. And it says, with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest. And, and the Lord can do this. It's his planet. Right. Yeah. This ain't your property. You didn't create yourself. You were created. So how the hell can you ever get upset? You're standing on the earth property, man. That's like you on the captain's ship, pissed off at what he cooked. You can get off. Right, right. You can swim back to wherever you find, man. Where the guy who uh, who had the Titanic, he tried to mock the Lord, man. He said, not even the most I can sink this ship. The most I sunk that ship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you ain't gonna get away from trying to mock the Lord, man. Yep. The most right. is not mocked. Right. right? He ain't gonna ever be mocked, man. You gonna be mocked. Yep. And you know what? The most high is a God of patience. All right. So, you know, you naturally react to what? You know, like reflex. But the Lord's patience, bro. So you can think you're mocking him, but when he's ready to whoop ass, ass is gonna be whooped. Like what your mom say, when I get home, I'm whooping that ass. Right. She didn't leave work right then. She tell, all right, when, when I'm ready, that ass is getting whooped. Well, when the Lord starts moving, people die every time. Look at Noah. Look at, look at uh, Lot. Oh. I got that Amos if you want it. Stop. All right. This is Amos real quick. 5 and 18. <clears throat> Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Right. Destruction unto you, man. All right. You got a lot of wicked ass people that think the Lord is coming back for their benefit. The Lord is coming back to save them. The Lord is coming back for his elect and his elect only. Okay. We say Lord willing that we of that number. Yeah. Right? Lord's will. That's right. And it reads, to what end is it to you? Right. What is it to, if you're not of the elect, what does what it have to do with you, man? You know, you're either going to die from the famine, you're going to die from the war, you're going to die in a, in, a, in a prison camp, or you're going to die from a chariot. So you were born in vain. Okay. And it reads, 
The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Right, very darkness, and that's symbolic for what? Destruction, misery, distress. Like it says in Zephaniah, I will put uh, stress upon men that they shall walk as blind men. Yeah. Okay, and it's, it's going to be actually dark too because the nukes are going to block out the constellations. Okay. They showed you that in the Matrix. <clears throat> Remember when he showed Neo? He said, uh, we don't know who struck first. <laughs> but this shit dark, bro. I hope you the one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey, fuck out of here, man. <laughs> this shit rough. Right, that shit don't even go. Never mind that. Right. Right. <laughs> That's the coming, though. That's the reality of things, man. You know? Uh, doom and gloom. You know, it tells you gloom, man. Doom, big, bada, boom. <laughs> and fifth element, big, bada, boom. You go, hey, some people are going to go deaf from the blast of the nukes, man. They're not, oh, they show you that in war. What? And Saber Pride Ryan, he said, what? Right. Ryan? Right. You know, they're going to go deaf, man. Right. You see? Uh, shell shock. Shell shock, yep. I got to put precept. You're going to see mighty men in the, in the corner uh, cowering, yeah. all right? So then that day, you, you black women, you're going to have to act like a god. You're going to have to do some godly shit, but it ain't going to happen. All right, the Lord is about to call you on your bullshit. Well, you're gonna have to be strong and independent. Yep. Yep. <laughs> In our Independence Day. Because <laughs> we're gonna be freed, man. We're gonna be free. <clears throat> you know? That's why the Lord is putting us through affliction now. Right. The, the, the downs, the ups, because what's coming, these people aren't being prepared for. Now, you had the one guy walk by and said a new world order is coming, but is he mentally prepared? Do you actually meditate how people are going to eat one another? Do you meditate how the water is going to stop? Do you actually meditate that when that door uh, gets kicked in, is it going to be the military or your next door neighbor taking your last fucking can of beans? You know? And then they show you in the road, uh, old girl left her fucking man. Yep. She bugged out. Yeah, because she couldn't handle the fact that her son was going to get took. And she kept saying it. She's gonna, they're gonna, she said, rape me and him. So she couldn't handle the reality. And then his father is walking through in a desolate land with a damn revolver to his son everywhere they go. Yep. That's judgment. Because he put a spirit of fear on him. Yep. You know? Yep. He put that on me. He said, I'd rather kick him out before I see something happen. Yep, soon. exactly. Yep. Now nah, we got to trust in the Lord, man. Right. Abraham did. The father of faith, man. Yep. You know? He, he, in the midst of him coming down, the Lord sent the angel and said, La'ah. Right. And so he was about to sacrifice him. And Esau said, well, I'll do it. But he'll see, sacrifice everybody. But right. for Satan, you know? You got it. This is the book of St. Joel 2 Beautiful. in verse 10. Hey, you know when you got the plate and yeah. you go yeah, like yeah, that? Yeah, that's yeah. what he's doing, man. Yeah. Hey, feed him, man. Y'all actually, actually go to Greek. Y'all yeah, said, one? feed my sheep, man. Uh, oh, yeah, three. Okay. See? With these lessons and these feedings, you're going to really see what a famine of the word means. Right. You know, because this is spiritual, nutritional meal. Right. I was listening to the brothers yesterday, you know, Dallas camp. And I was like, man, I appreciate that I'm able to listen. Yep. You know, just hear the brothers in the spirit. Yep. You know, so it's, it's really a blessing to be able to hear these videos. Yep. Come out and fellowship with like minded men, you know, because it ain't going to ain't gonna have that luxury. Right. right. So, this is a luxury, you know. Do you think we're going to be out here and, and shit hit the fan? No. The Lord ain't going to have us out here. Why would the Lord have his men out here when his tanks up and down the street? This building's on fire. That shit's crumbling. Okay. Uh, you got squad cars everywhere. Right. Why are we, going, we ain't going to be able to make it on the street, man. Bullets whizzing. Have you ever seen The Walking Dead? All the fucking cars be on the street. Mm -hmm. Mark, you, can't, you can't go nowhere. Yeah. You know? Wild animals. Judgment. You just had the armed cartel shoot at the National Guard yeah, yeah, yeah. at the border. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, what's up now, partner? Right. <laughs> and they were like, I didn't think they was going to come back banging like this. Was there in the spirit? Because that, that's because right now we're in the modern Roman Empire. The right. ancient Roman Empire, one of the reasons why it fell because of a border crisis. Mm. Man. So that's all spiritual. Financial too, right? Financial, uh, homosexuality, <laughs> lesbianism. Okay, careful saying that word, brother. You might get slammed. <laughs> Woman over men, you know. Yeah, even Dumb. even teens transformers. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Saint Joel three and verse nine, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Right. So we're telling you prepare for war. All right. You, you're not going to be the next rulers. You you'll actually need to get ready for war. 
Okay, you don't need to get ready for bed. You need to get ready for war. <laughs> right. You know? Look, that's the spirit of the bed right there. That's <laughs> oh, the Holy no. Spirit. <laughs> the fucking Toyota Corolla's got a king size wow. bed on his car. That's probably a Jake. You know, only we do that shit. Right. Yeah, you want to pay for delivery? Nah, I got it. Yep. <laughs> this nigga came on a bike. Then he saw be laughing at you. <laughs> right. But you got it home, though. He laughed. Right. He rides by scoff. Right. Niggas. Now, they ain't got a bed at home. Scoff. Well, it's house things. Right. Yep. Think about the, this looks very nice from the outside. Yep. You go in and it smells like shit. Yep. Cat cigarettes. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the nigga eats oodles and noodles. I'm a witness of it. And I was working on this one Edomite's home, and uh, outside looked nice. And then inside, this nigga was sitting on a, a, a broken uh, Lazy Boy with fucking ramen noodle packets. He's like, yeah, yeah. like there was scribes and Pharisees. Yeah, right. I think that's the spirit. Outside looks good. That's the spirit, bro. I was yeah. thinking the same thing. Right. Outside looks good, but inside stank. Yeah. You know? Uh, Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Right, have you ever seen the, the go and watch the recruitment video for China's military? Mm -hmm. Then go and watch the ones for Russia. Then go and watch the one for America. Okay? And tell me these nations ain't getting ready for war. So we are we're telling you this is part of our job to come out here and tell you to get ready for war and also to tell you about the second coming of your shot. Bro, right. uh Moab's uh, army is so fucking badass that when they stand, they put needles in their collar. So if they bow their head a little, it's it pokes them. So they're on some shit like cut. But guess what? They get that from the Lord because the, the priest couldn't even sweat in the temple. <clears throat> That's some hardcore shit. Yeah, right. bro. You can't sweat. You know? He got all the like uh, all that garment stuff, you know? You got China, you had the I'm sorry. You had the elder Barak out there, Shalom to the brothers out there in LA, man. You know, the lost angels have been found, baby. Yep. And uh uh you had the elder Barak, he was talking about China's uh all at the borders, man. You got you got soldiers ready to rock shit, man. You got soldiers you ready to rock, man. America's gonna get invaded. Okay? Well, there's already sleeper cells. You better believe that. You know, you you think this guy is just nah? He's a fucking you know he's on go. You know he's just waiting for it to go. Yep. You, know? you, you people got shit misconstrued, man. While you out here looking for the next fucking date night or our football game, right? Monday night football or Saturday night. Hey, these right. nations is locked and loaded, man. You know, so y'all people are bugging. America's about to go to war and you're going to lose, right. man. That's right. Well, even women's going to be drafted. Yep. You know, That's the rights. Really. Women are going to get drafted. Yep. Get ready to do some burpees, man. You ready to hit that pull-up yeah. bar, man. Ready to hit that training. Oh, hey, hey, PT. Right. <laughs> this shit's real out here. PT. Yep. Right. While you waiting for, while you waiting in line for Call of Duty, you're going to get called to duty, man. Right. All right? That's how you're going to get your achievement in war. This then, is, then, once, then, once, then once they get you up in there, they're going to give your ass that snake bite. Ooh. Then they're going to give you the karagma. Then they're going to ship your ass off, man. And guess what? Then your house shot's going to kill you. That's, That's right. right. And guess what? They got a, uh, they call it the pistol of peace, which I couldn't even do a lesson on it. But you know how they give them the bite, brother? They make them stand in line by the dozens, and they have a fucking hydraulic press that goes, psh, 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 psh. Yep. So they fucking uh, on a factory line inject you, man. Mass, mass jabbing. Mass jabbing. Look that shit up. I got I got it on my phone, but I couldn't do a lesson on it. So they can literally uh, hit you with hydraulic presses yep. of the bite, man. Yeah, they're going to have those in those caps, too. And, and it's leave. it's on both sides. So you stand there and two fucking, they look, you know, like the shit you fill the tire up with. Oh, it's like that. <laughs> I'll show you, brothers. So and they're they, giving you both. Hey. At the same time. Damn. On both sides, bro. Ooh. And guess who's there? Jake, like this. Yes, sir. Dumbass. Getting bit, man. So there's no two, two fangs. Cat. Double whammy. <laughs> he said, cat. <laughs> Double whammy. That's right, man. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get this through the then I got this article. It's beautiful. This, uh, you back want me to read it? Or you want, I can read it. Yeah, I can read it. Yeah, yeah, I uh, St. Joel 3 and verse uh, 9. Proclaim this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Yeah, we, we are here letting you know, man, to your face. The World War 3 is coming and your ass is going to be in it. That's right. You ain't about to rule. Your house shy about to rule. That's man. right. With it, its elect men, the saints shall take the kingdom yep. and possess it forever, Ever. even forever. That's right. That's right. And it says, that's scripture. let all the men of war draw near, right. let them come up. All able-bodied countries that are able to militarize and fight will fight. Everybody that got nuclear capability, okay? Everybody, Everybody that got technology, get ready. 
Okay, right. the world is the stage. That's right. Okay, so all you players, you're gonna be used in, 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 in the role of war. That's right. Okay. Hey, can I read this for you real quick? Because the Lord is doing that. This yep. is uh, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. Proverbs 21 and 1, the king's heart. So the Lord is putting confidence to, to meet the bully at the flagpole. Mm -hmm. You know, right, like, right, you, right, you know, right, you're yep. scared. He like, fuck that, let's go. Right. You know, the bully on the block, the hammer to earth. Hey, he about to get jumped, man. You know, Caruso been fucking up Chris far too long. Yep. It's time for his ass to get jumped. And it was a mall bite. And everybody hates Chris. Yep. Caruso got beat up by a fucking mall bite. Because he washed, he washed pot. He's my wash pot. He gonna wash his ass up, man. The Lord gonna put this spirit of lying like men. You know, they might fucking tiger paw you, man. Yeah. Right. You know? Nope. Right. Hell yeah. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's spirit or, or heart is in the hand of the Lord as the river of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. Right. Meaning whatever is in the thought or that comes to the thoughts of these nations, the Lord has them do it. The Lord is going to take over the, these kings' minds yep. and have them go to war. Yep. Right. The Lord's going to put on a spirit to push that button and send those nukes. Yep. And in one hour, shall this place fall. Yep. One hour. Okay. God bless. See you in heaven. Hey, hey, we will see you in heaven. And it uh, it also says that uh, they shall think the evil thought. Yep, that's the evil thought. Yep. Oh, the unwalled village. They yep. shall go up yep. to the unwalled village. And that, yep. That's where they're at. Off the coast. Yep. This place ain't, ain't, it ain't guarded. It's, it, it, it's a rejoicing city that dwells carelessly, man. Yeah. You think those people are worried about Fuck no. uh, what's they're, going on in Kelly? They're not, man. You know? They're worried about a Wi-Fi signal. Right. They're worried about themselves, you selfish ass people, man. You know? Right. That's a problem with Americans. Fucking cappuccino. Yeah. Right. You know? Cut you off in fucking line just to pull up at the same store as you. And then they don't even realize what they're doing. Yesterday, me and the brother, we got cut off by this stupid fucking goof troop. And I got a little upset, but I'm like, whatever. And then we, I pull up. He has to go to the same spot I'm going to. And the nigga's just like, doo -doo, doo -doo. he don't even know what he did. Right. So I was like, whatever. You know, we got to be spiritual. <laughs> they really don't even realize that shit. Right. You know, because sometimes you be like, you take it personal, but they really don't know. But that's why we come out here to tell them. We yeah, out here to tell beast, them. They're beasts, man. Yeah. They're fucking beasts. Yeah. All right. You people are beasts. Man. Group beasts, man. Fucking on your menstrual strike or walking around and shit. Go home. Take your ass inside. Clean up. Animals. Animals. Drunkards. Well, in the etymology for the word animal, guess what it goes into? Humans. You got fucking dogs that are cleaner than you, man. You got animals that have more uh, 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 morals than the average American person. Common courtesy. Yeah. You know? They acknowledge a, 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 a cat is not supposed to say, uh, excuse me. You know what I mean? A cat don't know that, but you, you people know that and still don't do it. You will put a disobedient dog down, but a disobedient child, you keep feeding his ass Captain Crunch. Yep. You know? Oh, you got the Irish stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking cesspool. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah my bad. Uh, Saint Saying Jewel 3 and verse 10. Be your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Meaning what? All right? Take all your money and put it into your military. Okay, can you get from yep. the St. Jude 3 and 10, be your plowshares into swords. Right, because that's what a, a farming tool, man. Okay, so in, in the times to come, all of these nations, they, they're getting up for war. They're putting everything they've got into their military. Okay, everybody's, everybody's is trying to get nuclear weapons, man. And you know what that's going to cause? That's going to cause a, a, a famine too, because uh, America is built off import-export. For all you so-called proud patriots, where your fucking shirt, pants, and shoes is made in China. Consumer nation. You know? You had Make America Great hats that are made in Taiwan. <laughs> what the hell? So now these nations are going to stop importing goods because now they're, they're, they're focusing on their nation, their military, and their expansion of rulership. That's the spirit because it tells you what? Then shall every man turn to his own people. people. Okay? You had China single-handedly take every piece of of juice of Western philosophy yep. out of uh, China. Yep. He said, your name, Brad? Get the fuck out. Yep. Yep. Haircut. And he, 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 uh, America's philosophy is so terrible, you people think that uh, 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 fortune cookies is Moab. Right. That was, shit was made here, man. Right. Moabites don't eat that shit. It's actually a mock when you think about it. Yeah. You know, it's mock. Well, Bruce Lee came here and got offended. When you watch the movie Enter the Dragon, it was like, fa, 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 fa. and he was in the fucking theater like, yo, what the fuck, man? Right, right. He was pissed off. He like, I can't sip my henny to this. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I can't get jiggy with this shit. Right. You know what else Moab did, right? They, they did away with sissy men on their television. The water. 
call law y'all yeah call law y'all boss you so they're getting ready for war that's right okay if you're a man you can't have that spirit around you, around oh, your men all right let's say i'm a general i can't have that spirit around the rest of my men not even not even the spirit of fear that's the law you know that's the law back in saint Jude three and ten and, and it says in your pruning hooks and the spears let the weak say i am strong yeah that's what they're saying right now now they're saying what's up all right you got nukes i got nukes too you know what you want to do all right yeah and good because that's what esau needs he right. needs someone to match his energy yep you know because that's the problem with them you have weak fucking low life nobody edomites try to boss up on you man beta male simps yeah beta male <laughs> simps you know limps right Chris? <laughs> limps they taking L's all day. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna walk away with a limp, right. man. My man said beta male limps. You know, that's the problem. You got a lot of fucking betas trying to act tough. And that's another thing. You Americans need your ass whooped, man. Yeah, yeah. You've been walking around too tough for too long. It's time for your shit to get checked, man. Pussy fied tough niggas, man. Tired of that tough ass women, too. And you know, another thing, prepping ain't gonna save you. Fuck no. Okay, no matter what you do, it's not gonna stop the judgment. Yeah. Because everything the Lord is allowing you to get anyway, because the Lord controls all things, it's for his elect. Yeah. All right, that's it. Yeah. Got a quick precept. Uh, uh, St. Jeremiah 51 and verse 30. The mighty men of Babylon have forborn to fight. Right, they gonna, the Most High gonna put a spirit of fear on them, man. They ain't gonna wanna fight. They ain't gonna wanna move from their quarters, man. Okay, what what do they do? They fucking play Call of Duty all day, yep. get drunk at bars, get high, and leave their wife on the base while, they, while their wife is getting popped. This is what happens in Esau's army, man. And then you got women up in there. You got moles up in there, man. Running shit. You got T-Mobiles up in there. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yep. No service. And 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 to prove to prove that that's going to come to pass, a great example of a mighty man turned bitch, Chris Jenner. Yeah. Full blown athletic American collegiate athlete now switching around in a fucking dress with a uh, Miss Doubtfire wig on. Man. That's America. Wheaties. Man. Yeah, Mr. Man of the Hour on Wheaties. You know, now he's walking around being called Sweetie. He said, it, call me man, bitch. Remember that, <laughs> that nigga in GameStop? Yeah. He like, turned himself yeah. to a fucking soccer mom. No. Nigga transformed. It's Miss, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> This is America, bro. Man, yo. yo, if a comedian were to, to, to rip on America, it'd be fucking hilarious. Yo, look at Dave Chappelle. You know? He said, he said, y'all seen that new special? Yeah, I, I didn't watch all of it. Yeah, I call like you know, a little bit. Yeah. I'd like to see it. I mean, it wasn't funny as that sticks and stones to me, but it was still pretty funny. Right. He made. He actually said something very spiritual. He said, uh, "Space Jews." Yeah. yeah. Yep. You know, Jews are gonna come back from space to rule the earth. Because that's talking about your house shining your light. Right. You know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You got it. I just want to fight the article. We can go into it. Yeah. I got it right there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm, 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 uh, it's like I got finished off. My bad. Okay. When you finish. Uh, back in Jeremiah 51 and verse 30, it says, The mighty men of Babylon have uh, have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holds. Their might, <laughs> right. Their might have failed. Hey, umpum, they, bro. they became as women. Yeah. They got the spirit of umpum. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> He ain't ready to, he ain't, he ain't built for war. The man. nigga heard his man being slowly stabbed to death and he took his hand off the gun, was yep. crying. That's yep. the spirit that's gonna be on these. There's actually a spirit of fear. Well, you, you know what proves that? These, these MASKs. Yep. You know, you go up to someone, yep. or you'll walk past someone in there. Yep. Right. What you scared for, man? Right. You know? But you're smoking. Right. You, you'll wear a mask, but you're smoking. Right. Or you are you that's eating smoking. fast food, you know? Fast death. Yeah, I'm fucking uh, Burger King in the mask. I'm gonna I'm start from the top of it. It says, um, they became as women. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. That was it. Yeah, no defense. Yep. The, the America's defense is a weather balloon. All right, it's a fucking uh, um, Goodyear blimp. You know, that's what you got. The Lord has set this place up perfectly to fall, and He's put you people in a perfect uh, 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 delusion. You're delusional. You don't see reality. You think you're gonna just go to work every day? The dollar's about to collapse. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna accept money no more. You're gonna have to get down with the system. You think your government is for you? They're the ones who enslaved you. This place is a prison house. This is a prison house. Let your ass rebel. They'll knock you over the fucking head, man. You can let your ass rebel, mm -hmm. all right? Ain't no freedom here. How you got the conception of freedom if it's given to you? That's not freedom. 
then you're supposed to have freedom of speech, but then you get uh, 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 censored. You get slammed. You get slammed. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Let the boys be the boys. <laughs> right. 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 You know? This is reality, man. All right? Ain't no more ladies' night. Ain't no more Super Bowl. Ain't no more friends. Ain't no more Emmys. Ain't no more awards. Well, there's, there's, so, there's, there's so many shortages right now that you won't have a Christmas. And inflation. Yeah, I gotta get you might not have a Christmas. Yeah. So, not, so tell your kids there ain't no white man climbing down the chimney while your ass is hard at work. Got a quick pre slide here. Uh, see Isaiah 24 and verse uh, uh, verse uh, 10. And it says the city... Uh, oh, and let me say confusion. this too. Also, they're going to start taking things because anytime a war comes, there's a shortage. So the military is going to take fabric, food, shelter. The military can legally get in your house right now. All the government's got to do is push a mandate or an executive order and your ass is out. But guess what? Obama already did that. Boom. You know, Obama already did that. And during the uh, 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 World War II, you had something called the Zoot Suit Riots. Yep. And it was a race riot between police, sailors, Navy, and blacks and Hispanics because they wanted to take their material, their fabrics for their uh, enforcers. So you, you don't have freedom out here. Oh, and then you so-called heroes last year are now become zeros. Yep. Now the so-called heroes in all the hospitals have been fired, but there's a fucking pandemic. So why would you fire the healthcare workers? It's an agenda. So they could put the, uh, the, the military put in. The military up yep. in there. So now you got, now you go there, you're intimidated. It's like you got a fucking, you know, yeah. Yeah. On, M16, on the right. they're yeah. gonna put the shit to your head and make yep. you take it, Yep. you know? So keep being distracted. Right. Keep being distracted. Keep thinking a little fucking Popeye's chicken sandwich is going to make your day better. All right? Uh, say Isaiah 24 and verse 10. The city of, of confusion is broken down. The city of confusion. It's confusion. You don't know if it's a man or a woman. The city of confusion, man. All right? You don't know. You, there's no guarantees in America but death. That's right. Well, you don't know what you're eating. You don't know if it's beef or, or humans. Or humans, man. Uh, you don't know the fucking air you're breathing. All right? You're breathing in air from chemtrails. You know? Yep. You, you, you drive down the street and you see the cops behind you. You don't know if you're going to make it home, man. That's reality. They don't have to tell you what they're putting in your food. Don't you know the government poisoned alcohol? Mm -hmm. they, could, they, they could poison you, man. Legally. You people better wake up, man. Your government's against you. They could poison those cigarettes, too. Your ass will drop dead, and your baby will find you with two fucking X's on your eyes, yep. man. With your tongue hanging out like Jordan. That's reality. <laughs> it's fucking reality, man. And it says, every house is shut up that no man may come in. That's going to happen real soon. Okay. that's going Because there's going to be more what? Lockdowns. Yep. Or LDs. Yep. But that's coming back too. Yep. LDs are coming back, man. They they getting ready to shut all these stores down. Yep. Okay. Have you noticed? I noticed all the stores are closing earlier now. All right. Pretty soon, it's not, they're not going to open at all. Mm -hmm. Pretty soon, you're going to go there. You're going to see military troops uh, protecting the stores, man. You won't be able to get in unless you got that snake bite. Okay. Pretty soon, there's going to be rationing. 